开课。Okay, so、uh, welcome to my channel. This is my first official video. I don't really know what to do, so I'm just gonna tell y'all a little story, I guess.、Um, so this story is about the time that I got my appendix taken out.、Um, I got my appendix taken out when I was in fourth grade. So here's the story. So for about a week, I had these like stomach cramps. Except they weren't stomach cramps. They were like. My lower right side, and they hurt a lot. And、um, it was like the middle of winter, and I live in Wisconsin. It was blizzarding. It was just a crappy week. I had like three snow days that week, no joke. So I didn't really miss a lot of school, but my stomach hurt like hell. And my parents were like, "Oh, it's fine. It's the flu." And I was like, "Really, bitch? I don't think it's the flu." And they were like, "No, believe me, it's the flu." And I was like, "Okay, I'm trusting you, but it's not the flu." After about probably like six days of dying silently on my couch,、um, I just you know had a panic attack in the middle of the night and went to go take an ibuprofen. And at the time when I was little, I couldn't swallow pills. I'd always have to have them crushed up so that I could swallow them because something about swallowing pills made me want to vomit. So I went to go swallow a pill. It was like one o'clock in the morning. My parents were sleeping. I was like, you know what? I'ma just do it. So I like forced myself to swallow it, and while I was attempting to swallow it, I just threw up all over the toilet seat. And I was like, you know, there's probably something not right about this. And at that moment, I went into my parents' bedroom, and I woke them up, and they were like, "What the fuck are you doing awake?" I was like, "Mom and Dad, I'm dying." And they were like, "Are you sure?" And I was like, "Yeah, I'm sure. I've been dying for a week." And they were like, "I don't believe you." And I was like, "But I am." They were like, "Are you sure?" And I was like, "Yeah, bitch." At that point, they still didn't take me to the doctors. They were like, "Are you sure you threw up?" I was like, "Yes, bitch. I was there. Was you? No, you was asleep in your bed, cozy as hell, and I'm over here dying." So they were like, "Okay, go back to bed." My mom came in with like a washcloth, put it on my forehead, cause she think that help or something. So she calls up the doctor's office. She's like, "Hello, yes. Um, my son might be extremely constipated.、Uh, he's been sick for about a week. Uh, stomach pains." Are you sure it's stomach pains, little bitch? Yes, mom, it's a stomach pain. Okay, he says it's a stomach pain. Where? Uh, lower abdomen, mom. Lower abdomen. Oh, that's a big word for a fourth grader. Yes, I know. He's a very impressive fourth grader. So this went on for about an hour. After that, the doctor was like, "Okay, just take the little bitch in and get him, you know, treated." So they rushed me into the ER's room.、Um, note that while all this was going on at like two o'clock in the morning, I was upstairs with my parents and my sister was downstairs. All alone sleeping, my parents rushed me off to the ER room. Don't tell my sister. Don't call her. Leave her a note saying we took your brother to the ER, so that when she woke up in the morning, she would be all alone, by herself, with a note saying your brother's in the fucking hospital. What the fuck? Um. So we're driving there in the snowstorm, and we get to the ER room, and they sit me down. And they're like, okay, so we understand you have stomach pains, and I was like, yeah, I've had them for about a week. So while this was going on, they like took out a chart the nurses did, and they were like, okay, so on a scale of one to ten, how bad does it hurt? I was like, bitch, it's an eleven. Give me some fucking medication. They put me into a hospital gown and into a bed, and they're like, we need to take some X-rays, and I was like, oh, okay, cool, I'm gonna see my skeleton. So I thought it'd be really cool and stuff. It wasn't cool. This is literally what they did. They were like, "Okay, well, we're gonna have to put you in a cat scan, which is basically a giant donut." And the cat scan's kind of scary. You're gonna feel like you peed your pants and that you taste like penny in your mouth. And I was like, "A penny in my mouth?" They were like, "A penny in your mouth." I was like, "That's disgusting." And I peed my pants. They were like, "But you didn't pee your pants." I was like, "But you think I peed my pants?" No, you would think you peed your pants. But I didn't pee my pants. Yes, you peed your pants. What is going on? It was all very confusing for a ten-year-old or however old I was at the time. But before I could do that, I had to drink this nasty ass apple juice, and I had to drink all of it. No joke, it was a glass this tall, like taller than my head, and they were like, "You have to drink all of this so that we know that you're going to be okay." That we, I don't know. There's some minute that like lights up the cat scan when you go through the donut hole, and they're like, "Okay, well now we know that you're okay." And I was like, "How do I know that I know that I'm okay? How do you know that I know that I know that I'm okay?" So I drank like half this apple juice, and I was like, "I'm going to throw up in your face, Miss Nurse." And they were like, "No, it's fine." I was like, "No, bitch, it's not fine. I'm gonna throw up in your face." 
And they were like, okay, fine, we'll take you into the fucking cat skin, you little bitch. I went through the cat skin, I went through the donut hole, and I was like, okay, this is cool. I'm cool. I'm fine with it. And I didn't pee my pants. I didn't feel like I peed my pants. I did feel the penny in my mouth, or that was just the vomit from this nasty-ass apple juice that I was like, in my mouth, you know? I've been up all night at this point, and they go, okay, well, we know what's wrong. And my mom was like, well, bitch! And they, the doctor was like, he has an appendicitis. And my mom starts busting down crying. And I'm like, what the fuck is an appendicitis? And she goes, I can't. And I was like, am I going to die? And they were like, no, honey. It's a standard procedure. There's an organ that's fucking useless living in you that you're born with. That we're going to rip out of you in the middle of the night. And I'm like, oh. So that's why I've been sick. They were like, yes, it's leaking. So we need to take action right now if we can. And I was like, bitch, I've been sick for a week. My appendix is leaking. And you're going to tell me now that I have to get a Xana? Oh, God. And we were learning long division in math class. I was like, I'm going to have to miss it. I was stressing. Anyways, um, they wheel me. They wheel me in this bed. They, ha they hook me up to an IV. They're like, Wah! Wah! they jam me with a needle. Blood is bluting everywhere. I'm like, this is so fucking weird. My mom's crying. My dad's like, what the fuck? They're pushing me through these doors and uh, I'm still feeling sick. And they're like, okay, well, we're going to put you under surgery. So they put me uh, under Anastasia. She was hot. Uh, I was very loopy. My grandma came to visit me right before I fell under because she works at the hospital. She was working at the hospital at the time. And they put me under Anastasia at the time. And uh, she goes and she's like, are you going to be okay? I was like, are you a dream? Are you reality? Are you a fucking dream? And um, I was dozing off. The nurse comes in. She goes, hi, my name is Tamitha. And this is my assistant, Rebecca. And we are going to take such good care of you. And I was like, what? And then I passed the fuck out. My mom, my other grandma, and my uncle love him to death. They were all there in the room. And my uncle go, this is what I wake up to. My uncle saying, well, this is boring as shit. He's just sleeping. And he leaves. Thank you, Uncle Tom. Anyways, so that's basically all that happened. After that, they force fed me this nasty ass cafeteria food from the hospital. It was the grossest thing I've ever tasted. They're like, but we need to know your eating rights so that we can send you home. And I was like, send me home and I'll eat fine. I just can't eat this nasty ass hospital food. I sucked down some peaches and they were like, okay, well you can go. And they rip off the tape that's on my surgery. Oh, you On my surgery and they rip out the uh, IV in my arm and they send me home in a wheelchair. Long story short, if you feel a pain in your lower right abdomen, you know who to call, not your fucking parents. Thank you for watching this video. Like and subscribe and uh, favorite it and share it and do all that other shit with it. I don't really care. I'm just making this as my first video to share a story with you because I don't know what the fuck I'm going to upload to. So thanks. Okay. Bye.